to NAB AFL Fantasy with the Traders. I'm Roy, I coach Destroy. This is Warner. Ah, uh, coach of the Warner. This is Calvin. And we're going to be bringing you episodes all Woo. year. Now it's open, it's finally open, Warner. What did you notice? We looked, I logged in and it looks fantastic. It's pretty and cool. I got on there and I saw we've got $10 million to play with this yeah. year. So that's pretty exciting. With that, we've got most of the rules are all the same from last year and a few different pricing things, Calvin. Well, that's rookies. Rookies are more expensive than ever before, but I think that much makes it a bit more challenging. So it's good, yeah. It's not a bad thing. That opening split round is always yeah. nerve-wracking, but a little ah. thing that I like, they have given us a free hit round one, so yep. it will still count to your overall score, but you get unlimited trades at the end of that, so there is no excuse. Yeah. Like you last year, being stuck with that crap team all year. <laughs> Round two, you should be able to put something pretty respectable together. Good. Good luck, Calvin. Right now, let's kick off with the defenders. Now, we've lost Goddard and Heppel. Oh, it's oh, devastating. Yeah. They're straight mids. Now, however, we've got a little bit of a gift from the Oof. fantasy gods. We've got guys like McVeigh, Simpson, and Sam Mitchell, who are going to be up there with the most selected players. People get excited about that. And don't forget about guys like Suckling, who's a yep. bargain this Massive year. Bargain. I think he should be in just about everyone's side. So there's plenty of guys back there that a lot of people are going to get. But let's go around. Wando, who is like a unique selection that you're looking at at this early stage? Well, I gave uh, Michael Hibbard a bit of a crack <laughs> last year. <laughs> and he, did. He, and he was good. He was I good. thought that obsession would be over No, he now. averaged high 80s. Plenty of plus sixes, so I think I'm going to re-sign him. This I must year. admit, I did cheer against Hibbert a lot, so knowing that he had him. And those little plus sixes, oh my god, yeah. had me tearing my hair out. Yeah. Troy, who go. are you going to go with? Uh, David Swallow. Now, you, oh, you're paying yeah. a reasonable amount of money for him, but he's a former one, number one draft yep. pick for a reason. He, yep. He's gained dual position status. Yep. His brother didn't break out till his fourth year either, so I don't know. I like that. Yeah, it's just another one of those examples of people getting yeah. excited about these new position changes. No. <laughs> <laughs> My boy I'm looking at is Jack Grimes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what. He's Jack Grimes. Jack Grimes. He's averaged 77 last year, yeah. which is 15 points less than he did in 2012. So Good th- reason to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking at the midfield, we've got a lot of bargains this year. We've been Big blessed, time. I suppose, because yeah. all these guys are under price, and I think our midfields will be full of them. You've got guys like Koch, you know, who's a lot cheaper. Murphy's cheap. Tick. Dane Beams is probably, oh, you know, he's the biggest lock of the Joe year because he's so cheap. Joe, yep. and it's even um, yeah. Daisy Thomas. Daisy, oh, now that he's at the unreal. Blues, yeah. coming off his injury-affected year, he's good. But we need some unique ones. Calvin. Look, I'm going, we're looking at Carazzo. Ooh. Look, in the last couple of years, he's averaged 90 plus, and last year he just had a, he was a bit injured and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But he's priced at 63. It's amazing. Yeah. I think it's a steal, and I think he's gone under the radar a lot already this year. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm locking in Ellis at this stage. Yeah. I'm really liking him. He averaged 98 without his vest mm. last year because yeah. he did cop the green vest a few times, and so. He's priced at under 80, yeah. which makes him a bargain. If he can do yeah. that, and then if he can pump out big scores, like well, he yeah, does, yeah, 140s and 150s last They're year. They're swan-like numbers. Whoa. Yeah, if they don't man Ellis up on a wing, I'll tell you what, plus six city. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. What about you, Roy? Well, I'm looking at Clinton Young. He's oh, averaged over shame. 80 three times yeah. in his career. He's been voted into the Collingwood Leadership Group. Ooh. It's rookie price. Yep. He ticks all boxes, I reckon. If he's named, yeah. lock him. Yeah. Now, rucks are going to be quite unique from team to team, I reckon. The yep. first thing I noticed when I logged in was there is a bit of value in four, um, fallen premiums. Now, I looked at McIntosh and Sandy, yeah, and sure. I cannot look past them Looks, now. I think I want to lock both of those well, Sandy's in. a fallen premium. He's yeah. averaged, in the last four years, except for last year, he's averaged over 93. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And he's priced at 50, so he's going to be one of the most selected players. McIntosh, another premium. Yep. He's got a 30% discount because he missed all last year. Yeah, the secure ruck thing interests me as yeah. well. Who's going to be their number one ruck? Yeah. You've got Hickey, and if you've got Longer, Longer's mm. under 200 grand, he could be a good bench player. I tell and you some what. some people are risking him on their ground. Too. Yeah, well, that it sounds like a lot of money to spend on your bench, doesn't it? But I think it could be worth your while. Oh, it definitely is. If he gets that number one spot, look, a lot, as Dog said, a lot of people are actually going to start him on the field. So, nice. yeah, get on him. Rightio, let's kick it off with our forwards now. Look, and we've got an absolute gift from the fantasy gods in the name oh, of Loft. Dangerfield. Oh, Danger. <laughs> how good, how good is he going to be yeah. now that we can pick him as a forward? And next to him, throwing guys like Lance Franklin and Dusty Martin as well. They're going to be wicked. Yeah, I like that. And there's a lot of value too. Like, there's a lot of cheap guys. See, yeah. Mitch Clark, if he's right, he, you've got to pick him just over 200 grand. For solo? For solo, if he's playing. Then you've yep. got guys like Gary Rowan, yeah. who yep. is basement price. Nathan Bock, if Bock he's in. I know. He's basement price. You've got to get those sorts of guys. Roy, what about a unique, though? Who are you well, looking at? 
despite having a little bit of a rough patch last year where I put him onto my never again list, Dane Zorko oh, yeah. has to come back on. He's back on, right? Yeah, well, I tried. <laughs> I went against the second year blues rule and I got burnt last year. However, he, he averaged over 90 in his first year. Yeah. That makes him underpriced this year. He's back on my radar. Good call, good mm-hmm. call. Calvin, who are you looking at? Look, I'm looking at the Golfer's best friend. Who? Caddy. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That was Some of my best. Look, oh, Josh yeah. Caddy, former, former number one, not sorry, former number seven draft pick. And look, he's averaged like low 60s in the last two years. He's yeah. going to go bang this year, I reckon. Golfer's best mid, friend. Mid forward, so yeah. that's handy. It because is, yeah. Get on yeah. it. Yeah. Bit exactly. of flexibility. Uh, for me, I'm going one of, oh, I love him because he looks hot. Paul Chapman. He's a good looking bloke, he's got a great haircut and I am picking him up because he honestly, he's cheap. Will he play? Will he play? Yeah, he's playing, he's training the house down. Oh, he's oh, 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 so really? I a am locking doing him that in there. he's been over 90 for most of the years of his career and we're getting him nice and cheap, well under 80, so hello. Give me your best chappy impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> AFL Records coming out Feb 7 and it looks absolutely fantastic, mainly because, boys, we're in it! That's what I was hoping you'd say. We are in it and we're pretty pumped about it. The fantasy yeah. section in there is awesome. Yeah, 9.95, it'll hit the newsstands on Feb 7, as you said, Roy. Make sure you pick up your copy because it's got everything you need to know about AFL Fantasy all through the year. Not only NAB AFL Fantasy Classic, but also Elite and Match Day. NAB Challenge is starting soon, so yeah. make sure you've got your notepad out. Make sure you stay tuned to afl.com.au. You. We're pumping articles through there basically on a daily, what, daily basis, yes, isn't yes, it? Yes. So um, our team picker is currently in full swing. Have a look at that.